I just built a flying Iron Man suit in my garage. And the best part is, it actually flies to you. Do not let anyone tell you that something's impossible. Because I've been dreaming about this ever since I first saw Iron Man, and I said one day, I'm gonna build a suit that flies like that. So for the last 14 years, I've been trying to make that real. Finally, technology's getting to a place where this might just be possible. Like real jetpack companies are becoming a thing now. They're still extremely dangerous, super hot, and so loud in person, guys, it's impossible to show through video. But it's insanely cool that there are full companies pushing the limits of what's possible. But I'm just a dude in a garage, so how am I supposed to make a high-tech flying Iron Man suit? I think by going electric. That means no flaming jets, no crazy heat, and better control. Control. It's like gas versus electric cars, and I want to make the Tesla of jetpacks. I don't think this has ever been done before. Problem is, batteries have much less energy than gas, so it's just barely possible to go electric. These custom electric jets took me an entire year to get, and are $30,000. Not even counting the tens of thousands more for frame, the batteries, and testing equipment. We're actually able to get some custom batteries with our logo from Max Amps, so a big shout out to them. The plan is to put two big EDFs on my back, and two smaller ones on my hands for balance. The physics is pretty simple. We just need enough downward thrust to overcome me and the suit's weight. In total, these jets can lift about 360 pounds, but everything weighs 341 pounds together. We have about 20 pounds to play with, and that's like full throttle straight down. It's gonna be really close. Something's gonna happen. I don't know what, but. But one on my arm to start, it turns out these things go full blast without warning. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Really? No. Don't know how to control this. <laughs> so you almost just flew away. Uh. <laughs> got two of them, and then try to jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Let me get the doll. Let me get the doll. Oh god. Bro, bro, get it off. That uh, came undone there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thought we were gonna die. <laughs> Got it working, now let's make the backpack. Put it on. You just gotta clip yourself in. <laughs> like Buzz Lightyear. Pretty mobile still. I can get the depth. First, let's drop it to a table to test the power and make sure it all works. All of them activated. Everyone can hide. This is my plan, by the way, instead of like making it better, <laughs> is that we cool it down. Because we're drawing so much power, the wires are melting and it keeps catching fire. Definitely had a little bit of a, oh God, oh shit. I'm here and popping. Yeah, shoot it. I think it caught on fire the first time after like 25 seconds. Last time it caught on fire after like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. So we're on the decline. Well, that was good. That was 30 seconds. Dude, that is insane. That is crazy how much wind is coming off of that. Did you feel it? <laughs> Let's try half power with half batteries just to see how it feels. It looks so good. Dude, it looks insane. Why would anyone do this? <laughs> I tried to jump to feel the lift, but here's why you should never jump when wearing a jetpack. You okay? You okay? What do you need? What? You get off balance and the jets push you over. Lesson learned and I got this nice little scar as a reminder. You have to spit first. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> the throttle was also acting weird, so brought it back to the table. All right, not bad. Oh, it's smoking. Oh, is it? Ah. It's on fire, bro. Yeah, I know, I, I'm aware. It's actually on fire this time. Shit. Where's the pin? Is there really no pin? Uh, ah, fuck. Go, go. I gotta cut these wires real bad. Ah. 
That could have been bad. All, you know how much energy is in these things? This was just on fire in here too. Yeah, a little bit scorched there. All right, well, I made it worse. Then it flew itself into the wall. It just literally flew in here? It was here, I would set it up, just gunned it off the table. With the table, it was, I bolted it to the table. Yeah. That's tough. Sort of afraid to touch it. Did it, did it fly? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I guess a little bit. <laughs> Propellers themselves damaged? Or, like, yeah, it's chipped. Ah. More cracking over here. Dude, it fucked up the entire studio. Before it was about three feet this way. That seems stable. <laughs> and to make matters worse, the hand jets also exploded. It blew the fuck up. I don't know what happened, but when things explode, that's when we call it a day. At this point, it's a horribly unreliable death machine. And yeah, I started questioning everything. Yeah. This is Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Seriously. I don't know. So deep in this project, though. I know. I don't have anything else to say. I know. Now, I've faced plenty of project failures before, but this one was the hardest. I just witnessed over a year's work and $40,000 go up in flames with nothing to show for it. Also going through some personal stuff at the same time. Basically, I felt like a failure in all parts of my life. It's sort of a struggle to like try and work on this every day. Working on something like as potentially dangerous as this, you know, if your head's not all the way there, like any little f up I do with this could be life or death. Like this is a jet pack we're talking about taking longer than I would have liked. End product, you know, it's super glamorized. You see like the hard work being put in. Yeah, we're grinding, we're going for it, but like, it sucks, a lot of it just sucks. You know, you just keep going, you just keep going the best you can. Just don't stop. So we're not giving up. I've got a good feeling about this one. I just kept showing up as best I could and try to make it even better. The new plan. Instead of using big EDFs, I got a ton of smaller EDFs. This way, each one pulls less power, so no overheating and fires, hopefully. It's also a lot safer and redundant, because if one engine blows up, much less destructive, and you still have 20 more. And the best part, I can make it fly to me, on its own, just like an Iron Man suit, because each motor can be programmed to balance just like a drone. Let's be honest, jetpacks that fly like this already exist, but nobody's ever made one advanced enough where it flies to you in parts. So I put six EDFs on each arm in a circle. And these motors already look so much like Iron Man. They're practically asking for me to do this. It's also got way more power than before. It feels like I'm literally on the moon. Yeah. I can almost fly, I can feel it. We're so close to becoming Iron Man, guys. And if you love Iron Man, you can actually play with him in the new game, Marvel Snap. That's right, guys. Marvel Snap themselves are sponsoring this one. It was created as a love letter to Marvel fans by Ben Brode's new company, Second Dinner. It's got all your favorite characters, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Venom, you name it, just add it to your deck. You basically 1v1 people over six turns at three different locations that get revealed as the game goes on. You just gotta overpower your opponent at two out of the three locations with your sweet superhero moves, like repulsor blasts, which I actually built into my Iron Man suit. <laughs> it looks crazy. And in the game, Iron Man can double your power at a location. And if you're feeling confident, hit the snap which doubles the stakes and doubles the amount of cosmic cubes you're playing for. It's such a mind game because you could be bluffing. It's free to play. In fact, there's no pay to win and you'll get matched with different opponents. It's on the App Store and Steam, so go check it out, link below. So I made the back from carbon fiber with slits to house the motors. They should be both strong and stop things from getting sucked in. It already feels much better and more responsive, but it still has enough energy to power four houses. It's basically like strapping a thousand horsepower Bugatti engine to your back. Yeah, safety's gotta be a priority. So we built a whole tether rig and redundant kill switches to shut it down. Okay, let's do this right. It's just not enough. Looks like I still weigh about 60 pounds, which makes no sense, because each motor puts out 16 pounds of thrust. They're all working too from the overhead slow-mo, which sounds like a trap siren, by the way. Really hoping I just catch a break here for everything that's happened. I was so wrong. Right now the backpack is much higher than the hands. I lowered it down so everything's at the same level and it will hopefully be more stable. Still not enough. We also set up in our new workshop, 
which is gonna be so cool when finished. Yeah, check out our Discord to help us design that. So I decided to add more motors and actually try and lose some weight myself for the best chance possible. So here's that weight loss journey in about 15 seconds. How is it? What? Boom, 26 pounds extra thrust, and it only cost me a few months of self-hatred. Little better. Still not enough thrust. So I added even more batteries to increase the voltage and finally some hope. The thrust is there and I technically flew for a second. <laughs> That's a jetpack. But it's horribly unstable. I moved the feet motors to the hand for better control. Definite improvement, but I'm spinning for some reason. Thought it might be the motor's torque. So tried reversing some. I am still spinning, but it was my best flight yet. Sick. Wow. <laughs> that just happened. It's like functional. Yeah. No, I'm fully flying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's no question now. Yeah. I changed even more motors directions, trying to counteract even more torque, and somehow I made it worse. I'm good. Woo! It just, it went off and I couldn't stop it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm fine. I was like, okay, I have to do something. I have to unplug it. It's like, eventually it's gonna run out. <laughs> I was busy. Also, please let those Well, <laughs> that was an ordeal, huh? Could have been way worse. I rewired everything and managed to make it even worse. back to things exploding, and yet again, I have no idea what the problem is. This is when you gotta dig deep. Spent hours pouring over the footage, rewired everything, again, making sure to triple check and insulate every single connection. And we're back to being functional, but still spinning. I spent weeks trying to figure out the spinning problem. Day 11, test 37, configuration 2.0. Finally decided to move a few jets from the back to my hands, and finally caught a break with this one. Yeah, I can fly. I just have to learn how to control it now, which is surprisingly straightforward to go left, lean left, right, lean right, exactly how Iron Man does it. So hit it with some hot rod red and started trying to make it fly to me. Basically, I added flight computers to each of the arms in the back, which tells the motors how to balance on their own, just like a drone. This also had major issues. Surprise, surprise. Try this out. It worked really well. Eventually, we ran out of things to go wrong, and I finally got everything flying. <laughs> then I took my first flight off tether. <laughs> it 
It is the coolest feeling ever, especially with the mask. Go follow and like me on Instagram to actually win one of these masks, by the way. There it is. Now, we could get super fancy with the AI summoning features, you know, GPS, obstacle avoidance. It can all be programmed to do that. But for now, we're just gonna have each piece take off, fly 30 feet sideways to me, and hover. Jarvis, drop my needle. Send the rest. Close now. Malibu, this is where Tony Stark lives. Yeah, it looks like a dream. Damn, this is sick. Unreal. How do you feel? Pretty sick, dude. I feel like I'm watching the movie. No, how does Jake feel? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was so excited. I, know, I, didn't I was mean like, it. You gotta make one more stop. Can I have a glazed donut? Thank you. Free donut. What? Free donut. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let loose from the news. It has kept me hanging about. Just looking at the sky. What'd you say? I love a item. Thank you. <laughs> you are so <laughs> <laughs> What's the YouTube channel? J Laser Video. So I'm sure y'all are wondering how high and long can I fly? Basically, I can go as high as I want for about 60 seconds of flight, but I don't fully trust this, so I'm not going more than 15 feet. Also, hard to believe this is my 10th year on YouTube. It's just crazy to see how far we've come and what you can accomplish if you don't give up. So thank you guys for following and supporting me. I love y'all 3,000.